Mississippi Plumbing License Types of Permits There are commercial and residential contractor licenses. They are administered by the Mississippi State Board of Contractors MISBOC. The difference is the capacity since the latter cannot work in spaces larger than 7,500 square feet. The application process, exams, and charges vary, depending on the type of the permit. You don't need a license in Mississippi if you're working on a project worth less than $10,000. Commercial journeymen with a net worth of $50,000 or more should have a permit. Many counties demand a local certification. To apply fill in the application that is specific to commercial or residential contracting. Then send a notarized package to the following address, MISBOC, PO Box 320279 Jackson, Mississippi, 39232-0279. The form includes, but is not limited to the following requirements, three reference letters, one from the bank, two can be from anyone, who worked with slash for construction related projects a certificate of general liability insurance coverage income tax ID or federal tax ID number fees, based on the type. All applicants should take law and business management tests. Further tests depend on business type. MISBOC will send a bulletin with all the information on exam scheduling and materials. Some specialty classifications require their own assessments. Each applicant must take two hours of continuing education from a board approved provider or teacher. Fee $400, Commercial Journeyman License. $50, the residential permit $120 each portion of the SI exam $240 both the trade and law and BM tests reciprocity agreements exist with these states Alabama Arkansas Georgia Louisiana North Carolina South Carolina Tennessee if you have a license you'll still be required to pass Mississippi law and BM test. There is a $50 payment for each waived one. Your license is valid for a year. MS doesn't require continuing education for renewal. Submit an application either online or by mail. It costs $400. How long it takes to become a plumber depends on the career you pursue. After graduating studying in vocational school lasts around two years. Apprenticeships last from two to five years depending on the curriculum. Thanks for watching. Visit LicenseSearch.org for more information. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.